I'm getting ready to attempt to replace the brake booster on this Toyota pickup. Uh, it's started to uh, leak air or something. You push on a brake, the engine runs so lean it starts to die and it's very hard to, to stop the truck. And uh, I took it to a mechanic and they couldn't find a part. So they didn't do it. Um, so I, I finally found one at O'Reilly's. Uh, I ended up plugging this. It was getting so hard to uh, keep the engine running when I, it, whenever I pushed the brakes down. But uh, uh, this at least helped that part. Uh, so the new replacement looks similar so far. Uh, I think maybe the hardest part will be reaching up way up in there can't see it but uh, getting to the bolts in the back of it they're on the other side of this four long bolts on the back of that to pull it out so yeah getting these nuts off are, is pretty challenging you can see the socket I have up there to loosen that top one I, I don't have deep sockets takes a 12 millimeter and so I'm just I just stuck it on there I put the uh, ratchet on there as best as I can to loosen it so it would help to have some deep sockets uh, but I have four of these I need to take off pretty tight in here it's pretty nice to be able to have a camera and take pictures of things you can't really see very well because your big head gets in the way but uh, I can just take pictures of this and see how it goes together and hopefully get it back together in the same way I'm trying to get anything these these uh, brake lines are connected to loose enough so that I can move this master cylinder out enough to get the booster out if I can't and uh, I have to lose the fluid then it's going to be a a whole lot more trouble refilling that and bleeding the brakes and everything so I hope I don't have to go through that you can see how long this rod is that goes into the through the firewall I'm gonna have to pull that the old one out that far so I just don't have enough room here to get it out I don't think so I'm going to try to remove some of this uh, this uh, air intake piping and hopefully allow a little more room and and maybe this uh, master cylinder will swing out a little bit further well this stuff came out pretty easy and it's going to allow me to bring this quite a bit further so hopefully it'll be enough to let that uh, that rod slip out from through the firewall I hope look at that just enough room to clear and get the old one out thank goodness now the old one has a little block I need to move to the new one and hopefully the length and everything is okay I need to measure that and make sure from the back of this uh, booster to the top of the link it's right at uh, six and three quarter so I need to make sure that gets set similar on the new one there we go I got the link adjusted hopefully just like the other one everything's going back together pretty well I'm just tightening the screws and putting hoses and tubes back where they're supposed to be got the inside part the four bolts on the inside against the firewall was the hardest part I think I'm all done didn't take long a little less than two hours started a little after two o'clock and finished about four so I'm about ready to test drive it now it feels good these brakes work now 300% better 
even without the engine running, I could uh, I could stop the truck. Oh yeah, these brakes are working nice now. I can stop really quickly. And they've been getting worse and worse slowly, and I think that's why uh, my wife really complained the last time after she drove it that she couldn't stop quick enough. And I I drive it all the time, so I was just used to it. But uh, sure enough, they they got really bad, and, and that's when I had to do something about it.